Hey, C here and welcome back to the channel where today I'm going to be reacting for the first time, well kind of, not really, but the first proper time, let's say. Today I'm going to be reacting to The Red Plum Book, a channel that I've been obsessed with lately. They showcase the differences and similarities between certain interactions or, you know, things, anything between the different Sims games and I have been obsessed with it so let's jump right into it. Okay so here we are, this is the channel, this is the Red Plum Bob and as you can see there are many videos to choose from. A uh, lot of them are only The Sims 2, 3 and 4 but some of them also have The Sims 1 and those ones are more on the evolution between certain things but today to start with, I wanted to see this one because this is all about animations and I don't know why but it sounds really interesting to me. Like I do notice a lot that certain animations are the same throughout the games so I want to see just how much they are similar, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm sure it does. Since there's a video on it, it means I'm not crazy thinking that. But uh, yeah, let's let's watch it. Uh huh. I don't know why, but the Sims 4, I feel I haven't seen them clapping as much as I've seen them do this exactly. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I, I've seen that specific animation a lot more than the clapping. But then again, I don't play The Sims 4 as much as I play The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. Sometimes I think I play The Sims 1 more than The Sims 4. But uh, no, I mean, I don't think I've seen the clapping as much. I don't know, that's weird. That's just me, probably, most probably. But let's keep going. This is weird, actually. I feel weird <laughs> watching this, watching them just lose it over nothing. I don't know. This is, this is weird. I feel kind of, I don't know, weird about it. I've never seen that one. Again, I don't play The Sims 4 as much, but that, uh, I, I haven't seen that. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many in, in The Sims 4. The royal bush. They're a lot more muted here. Usually it's the like for the other things it was the opposite. <laughs> and a herb. See what I mean though? Like usually they go all out in The Sims 4 with the oh. <laughs> Whereas the disgusted one was more like Ooh. and that's it. <laughs> Like, look at this, she's mortified, and they can actually die of embarrassment, I think, in The Sims 4. <laughs> Again, I don't play it as much, so I might be wrong. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Oh my god, I've seen that so much. Like, I always thought that they were gonna turn into a werewolf when they were doing that, but no, that's just Sims being Sims. <laughs> I am really surprised though, there has, there have not been almost any animations that are actually the same between games. I thought that there were gonna, like, I don't know, maybe I am crazy actually. <laughs> I did say earlier that I wasn't crazy since there's this video, but maybe this video is proving that I am crazy because so many animations I thought were actually the same, just kind of tweaked a bit in between games. But no, these are totally different. It's actually making me sad. Who's I don't know. Like I feel like Oh that I like that one. I like that. Just give me a second. <laughs> But like, this is not very sad. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't know about the ones in The Sims 4. I don't want to just nag on it because it's The Sims 4. Uh, I want to give it a shot every now and then. 
But on this specific one, I don't know because the, the voice acting is great. I feel like the uh, it is the most expressive in terms of voice acting. In The Sims 4, the voice acting is the best. The animations are not actually that sad. Like, The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 actually made me sad. I was like, no, I want to be there and comfort them. Oh my god, I've seen this specific animation so much in so many machinimas. They were all like... I feel like they all started like that, with a, a shot of mo moving in on them doing... <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a good one. This evolution of abduction. I actually was surprised to know... I, I'm sure I've got abducted in The Sims 1, but I, it happens so rarely, I feel like, that... No, what am I saying? Of course I got abducted. I got abducted in in my All You Can Do in The Sims Hot Date? Well, no, not Hot Date. In the first All You Can Do uh, that I uh, that I made, I, Bella got abducted. So, of course I know that you can get abducted, but when I saw this, I was like, wait, you can get abducted? I don't know why, The Sims 1 never sticks. Um, the Sims 1 abductions never stick into my memory, if that makes sense. But uh, let's see, this is gonna be short and sweet, apparently, only three minutes. Okay, I moved the camera over here because there are writings here in the bottom, so we will have to read those. In Sims 1, abduction was introduced in Living Large and Busting Out, which is the All You Can Do episode that I've done. If a Sim is gazing through the telescope at night, then she or he might be abducted. The sim will disappear from the lot for around 8 sims hours. Their needs will remain static. Are the sims in the lot will cry in the spot where they were abducted. I do remember the kids going to cry to Bella. 8 hours later, sims will be back in the lot thinking about aliens. And that's it. I think. Their interest and personality might be a little different. Oh, there we go. That's right, yeah. It seems to abduction was in the base game. All you had to do was start gaze at night through the telescope and wait. That is a lie. Because you had to have that specific telescope to be able to get abducted. If you start gazed in the normal telescope, you know, the, the smaller one, you could not get abducted. In fact, the animation here is only available for this big telescope because you can't get abducted with the smaller one. And that is also, like, if you don't want to get abducted, uh, that is also an option. You can just buy the smaller one. <laughs> if special event camera is enabled, this cutscene will play. I love this cutscene. It's one of my favorite ones. I mean, it might have something to do with the fact that I get every sim I have available abducted every time. The sim will be gone for about 4 hours and their needs will go crazy. Yep, it will be anything but static. <laughs> Absolutely. And this cutscene will play for their return. God, I love cutscenes in The Sims 2. <gasps> After being abducted, male sims have a chance of being pregnant. A high chance, I'm pretty sure. Like, most of them are not. In Sims 3, abduction was introduced in seasons, and, like... Okay, if you've seen my occult series in The Sims 3, you know that I have not gotten abducted ever. <laughs> like, I've played The Sims 3 so much. And I've never gotten abducted. I've seen the aliens be at other houses and abducting other things. And I've always been like, why not me? What do they have that I don't? <laughs> but in the Occult series, I finally got abducted twice. Not once, but twice. And, well, the second time was off camera because I wasn't recording at the time. But I... It's just... <laughs> like, I don't know if the chances of abduction are lower, uh, but getting through telescopes and space rocks increase the chance of abduction. I didn't ha even have, I don't, I still don't in that Let's Play have a telescope. So, I don't know, I don't get it.
The scene will investigate these lights for a while until a UFO appears. The UFO will then abduct a curious sim and disappear from view. The sim will be gone for hours and will reappear with the alien. The alien will be leaving shortly after. Unfortunately, I did try to <laughs> get them. Will uh, the sims? Sims will then get the abducted moodlet and males have a chance of pregnancy again. And for, I feel like that is another thing that the chance got lowered, maybe, because again, I got abducted twice in the Let's Play, none of those Sims got uh, pregnant. Unfortunately, I wanted to, I was praying that it would happen, but no. It didn't, unfortunately. So I don't, I'm pretty sure at this point that the chances got lowered. Although that's a shame for me who specifically wants that to happen. In Sims 4, abduction is in Get to Work. A light will fall and Sims investigate, but you can stop them. Oh, you can! Wait, you can? I didn't know that. I feel like this is the first time that you can actually stop it. Not that I'd ever try because I love them. <laughs> also, oh my god, look at look at that monstrosity right there. Like I was talking about if you don't want a big telescope, but <laughs> then there is a full-on observatory. Like what the fuck is up with that? Anyway, you know, I've never actually gotten abducted in The Sims 4. I've played Get to Work. But since I played the scientist career, I feel like I went to the planet. I don't really remember how it works, but I think I went to the planet, to the uh, alien planet, rather than getting abducted. No, wait, I did get abducted. I got children. I don't remember how. I didn't do it using this huge observatory, though. So I don't remember. <laughs> If not, the sims will be abducted, the sims will be back in a couple of hours. Again, males can get an alien pregnant. Pregnancy, yeah. And I live uh, days moodlet for a few hours. Winner? I don't know. Vote in the comment section. Okay, now this is exciting. I have actually watched half of this already, and this is what I made the decision on uh, that I wanted to actually react to it because this is what I wanted to do in my series. You can see that every time I explain a lot because this is what I'm trying to do but I fail every time because there's just so much to do that I can never actually do the things I want but this is this is so in depth. If you're interested like me in these things I really recommend checking this out because it's just mind-blowing. I love this. I just absolutely love this. The attention to detail and everything. Let's go! Spells were introduced in The Sims. Making magic, the mystery man will drop this box in your lot. I love making magic. With this you cast your first spell. Spells don't require skills but ingredients. Toadification will turn a sim into a toad for a few hours, sims can kiss them to change them back. And I'm pretty sure I've seen in another in another video of this, I don't remember what it was now, but in another video uh, of this that I've watched, uh, it said uh, that I didn't know actually about. Oh yes, it, it was a video on unique deaths in the sims. Uh, in all of the sims and one of the unique deaths in the sims 1 is that if you are told you can get eaten by a cat or a dragon now i'm sure i knew that but uh, again the things with the sims 1 always slip my mind because it's been so long so i was oh, oh really what <laughs> it's just fantastic i love the sims i don't know if you knew that about me <laughs> This is probably my favorite spell in the game because I love the gnomes so much. You might have seen how much I love the gnomes in The Sims 3, but The Sims 1 is actually where it all started. Look at that. And then it kind of stopped in The Sims 2. Yes, they will get distracted and they will get drunk. This is 
I just love the gnomes so much. Look at them! They're adorable. I do... Okay. If you enchant the flamingo, it will come into that. That is weird. Okay, now, fun fact that I noticed, I'm pretty sure that it's true, is you see how these little crosses here in the corner of the portrait? That usually is when you center on the scene and the camera will follow the scene everywhere they go, but you can only do it with one scene at a time. The fact that the cross is on multiple scenes, I'm pretty sure it is because the Red Plum Book actually sold the Sims. So with in the Sims 1, with move objects uh, activated, you can actually sell the Sim and they will be in a kind of limbo. They will be nowhere until you click on their portrait again and they will reappear. And they will reappear with Max Motives as well, which is what I always used to do just to cheat their needs up. So yeah, that, that is a thing. <laughs> and I think that's what they're doing. Now I don't think that they're doing it for the max motives like I did. I think it's just more for having it more neat and orderly with just the two that need to be in the video for the showcase. But uh, I don't know, I but that was interesting. So. I thought I'd point it out. Here we go, charms are where it's at. I don't know why, I used to love charms more than actual spells. This one especially, I used to use it so much. Like every time, I think I went for the genie a lot. Or the, I mean for the, for the female scenes, I absolutely used to go for the actual witch. If there seems without wands in the room, everyone will get a donkey head. I actually did not know that. Okay, now if you've seen my occult series in The Sims 2, you've actually seen a lot of these because I have actually tried again. I've tried to do this, but of course this is a lot more in depth. So again, I really recommend seeing this. This is actually a list of all of the things. You've seen the ones I've done on the Let's Play, but not all of this. Like, what about this? I, I mean, I saw no reason to do that. I'm sorry that I'm covering this, but you're not missing much. They're just acting like a chicken. I mean, for the most part, I've done a lot of these, but I haven't, I just haven't done the ones that are kind of a waste of reagents. Like one of them that we've seen earlier will make, like this one, for example, just to make a sim throw up. Sure, it's evil, so yes, I'm evil, but like, why? No. <laughs> they will make the sim ill as well, but it's just a waste of reagents, I feel like. Oh, here we go. I love Tempus Interrupters. Um, and I, again, I've seen this uh, uh, half of this video already, and this plot twist right here. I'm sorry, just let me move the camera again, because this you have to see. Ooh. <laughs> In Sims 3, all spells depend on your magic skill. They're divided into spells, charms, and curses. And they're actually pretty disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Again, if you've seen my Let's Play, you've seen the spells and everything. I do have a mode that makes it a little better, but um, this, the spell casting in the Sims 3 is a little underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've said it other times, but it is just a list of things that you can do once you hit a certain level in the skill. There's no thought behind it, there's no alignment, there's no good or bad witch. Every witch can do curses, and every witch can do charms, and every witch can do, you know, good things. It's just... I don't know. 
A lot of the spells in The Sims 3 are actually just shortcuts, which is what I do the most in the Let's Play, is just... Oh wait, I didn't know this! What? I need to do it! I need to do this! Wait a second, what? You can go to Narnia? I didn't know that! Why did nobody tell me? Okay, that is the one thing <laughs> that is actually really surprising. Um, not surprising, that, that, that is not underwhelming. Because I was trying to say that in The Sims 3 a lot of the spells are just shortcuts, like we just saw earlier, magically upgrade is just if you have the handiness skills you can get the same upgrades but if you're if, you, if you're a spellcaster you can just wave your wand at your sink and it will be up magically upgraded already so a lot of them are just shortcuts which is why they're underwhelming it's not you know a unique spell there are unique spells but most of them are just shortcuts this is what? <laughs> okay, now Sims 4 spells are divided in three categories, Practical, Mischief and Untamed. I've actually never played with this expansion, uh, well, game pack, but I've seen a few videos on it, that's all. And this, this feels like the shortcuts that I was talking about in, uh, in The Sims 3. But I think this is the technical, did I miss that part? Is this the technical side of of the three? Was it even called technical? I forget. <laughs> Transportalate? I mean, sure. <laughs> I love that. I actually love that. Copy paste. <laughs> I this. On one hand, my initial reaction is I hate these. Herbio? What the fuck? <laughs> but then I actually kind of love those things. <laughs> wait, wait, for the mischief spells... Oh, the mischief is the, one of the three, that's right. Uh, Disperio gives a sudden despair sad moodlet. Okay. <laughs> okay, fair. So I guess... This is just giving moodlets, uh, like playing into the emotions thing, which is kind of the downfall of The Sims 4. <laughs> the emotions were a mistake. They're like they're nice in concept, but they like focusing on them is not really. Why is infatuate mischief? I mean, I guess if you're trying to ma do mischief, but that I love that. <laughs> I love the representation. I love that. I love that actually. Okay, so untamed magic is kind of like wild magic. Seems one die from this fire. You can cast it on the floor for it to be deadly. Yes, just like in The Sims 3. Oh, okay. Okay, I actually really like that. I really like that because I'm pretty sure that you can do something similar in The Sims 3 with genies. But in The Sims 3 it is not very well done. Whereas if we've seen that it is, it is the same thing in The Sims 1 as well. Hypnotize will make you able to control another sim for a little bit. And you just get... And you just, you'll be able to pick one action which will be successful. So I do like this a lot better because in The Sims 3 with Genies, which is why it wasn't in this, in this spell list, uh, with Genies you actually control the entire, it's like he's a member of the family for one day, but in that one day it will be part of your household and when that one day is over, he will not, the, that sim will not go back to their households. 
so it will just kind of not really corrupt the game but it will you know make it bad in that regard which like this this sim will just be homeless now it it just handles it quite poorly so i'm glad that in the sims 4 they went back to the sims 1 uh, option which uh, is actually pretty pretty good Lastly duplicato lets you make a copy of your sim. Oh, that would be so you can command them to do basic basic chores or just interact with them normally oh, Okay, it's not just an actual clone because I've tried to make clones in the sims 2 and failed miserably every time <laughs> And I like this I love this I love this. I forgot about this. Yes, can you? Must are the same or similar to adult ones? It's building. Oh, the little skeleton! Look at that. That is adorable. That is actually a unique one. Is invisible friend, which makes a kid only the caster can interact with. That is adorable. Age of Instant, I was just about to say this. We'll age them up into adults in just a few seconds. And it is actually the only way that a kid... <gasps> I forgot about this as well. Okay, I'll... just one second. Um, it is the only way that a, a kid in uh, The Sims 1 can become an adult. Otherwise, they will be stuck as kids forever. But... The more you use magic, the more these crystals will appear in your lot. I forgot about this. And every every one of these has a different ability. And this is the last video that they uploaded on their channel, which is also where I am gonna finish my video with this in the background. Because I thought it's... Bella, what are you doing? That is not Mortimer. Excuse you? Anyway, sorry, <laughs> that, that just took me by surprise, but just where I was going to say that this is romantic and all, but <laughs> this feels like a nice video to end it on, you know, just them slow dancing and being romantic, like, yeah. But I hope you enjoyed this, and let me know what you think about me reacting on the channel, because if you liked it, maybe I could do it more. And let me know what kind of content you would want me to react to as well. Would you like me to do some more Sims content reaction or something else? Just let me know. But yeah, other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye! Tudo puxou o quê? Ah, sweetheart.